At six o'clock, a scam involving fake bottle return slips has led to several arrests and prison for the ringleader. At least five Meyer stores were targeted. Losses were in the thousands of dollars. 13 on your side's John Hogan has a look at how the scam was executed and how the participants were brought to justice. Some of the defendants in this case were homeless. Now they were recruited to return bottles and cans at Meyer stores throughout the Grand Rapids area. A modest bottle return slip was the nexus of this scam, which played out over the course of seven months. No, this is really unique where you're actually forging bottle slips and you're taking them in and returning them. The ringleader, Jonathan Allen Bosch, put an ad online seeking returnables for an art project. Bottles and cans were returned at automated machines at Meyer stores. Bosch collected the return slips. Sure, but they had bottle slips that they somehow forged. It happened at the FedEx office store on 28th Street Southeast. Those copied slips, hundreds of them, were turned in for cash. But the vast majority of these were small numbers and then getting the, the clerk essentially to override the barcode. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker said part of the strategy was keeping the returns modest. As it's, you know, five bucks, six bucks, it wasn't anything to raise any sort of red flags that it's a huge number of bottles. The Michigan State Police Fraud Unit got involved. Five people were charged. Police are still looking for two others. Substance abuse was a common thread. Those people need money, those people need something, and it is kind of something that preys on the vulnerable very often. The harshest punishment was reserved for Bosch. He was sentenced to between five and 20 years for conducting a criminal enterprise. We want to get the, the ringleader. We recognize that these other individuals were paused to some extent. The others were given lesser sentences, which included jail and probation. Anthony Peterson was the last to be sentenced. Obviously, I regret the actions I've taken to get me here. I plan on doing everything I need to do and putting this behind me. In addition to some jail time, Judge Paul Sullivan placed Peterson on probation for two and a half years. Restitution in the amount of $4,980. It's a little more for Bosch. He has to pay Meyer back more than $19,000 in restitution. And they'll commit a, a felony uh, and not get a whole lot out of it and pass it along to the ringleader. Jonathan Bosch, the ringleader, will be eligible for parole in April of 2024. In Cascade Township, John Hogan, 13 on your side.